Hi, and welcome to week three. This week we're going to look at creating fruit icons. So I've got some reading for you to do on what makes a good icon, uh, some tool reading and videos, and then a new project to do. So I'm just going to start looking in our module section. Make sure you're going through the modules. Very similar to last week. So you've got the descriptions, some reading, talking about what makes a good icon and steps to making one. And then you're going to create a set of five fruit icons. You can use the images found here as templates or you can kind of create your own. I do want you to sketch them first. So choose your favorite. Again, you can use this or your own. Reference it for your sketches using post-it notes. So very simple because we're dealing in square artboards and a pencil or pen. Just sketch out your fruit icons. This is going to teach you how to import images and how to use them to create an illustrator. Um, so then you are going to choose the best sketch for each fruit to create an illustrator. This is due by Wednesday and it's actually due on your blog. So you'll go to the next page and then you can see we have the blog post talking about what did you learn about icons, take a photo of your designs, post them to the blog, group the five designs you've chosen to move forward with. And this is due Wednesday. You guys have done a great job turning in your blog post so far. Then I have a little video on how to set up for your assignment using the Pathfinder tool. And then we're going to look at your first assignment. So really, basically just taking those sketches, you're going to make a new Illustrator document. We're dealing in web space, so we're going to do pixels instead of inches. And it's going to be 500 pixels by 500 pixels. And you're going to need five artboards, one for each fruit. This is also going to get you used to layers. Layers are so important, especially in Illustrator, because we kind of, by default, use sub-layers in Illustrator. So you want to make sure for each fruit, uh, aka each artboard that you're using, you have all of your shapes in one layer and that that layer is named. Um, so Apple, you have all of the things to make your Apple in that layer. Okay? And then you will illustrate it. For this first part, uh, that's actually due Wednesday, I'm sorry, I'll adjust that, um, you are going to um, use a black and white and one shade of gray. That's it. We want to keep it very, very simplified. Due Wednesday, June 17th. Okay? And of course, if you have any questions, let me know. When you're turning that into the gradebook, you're also going to want to post it in the discussion board. This is again where you can help out your classmates. So you need to post uh, by Wednesday and then respond to your classmates by Sunday. Of course, the earlier you can do so, the better, and it will help everybody. And then we're going to look at color. Color is very important. Um, color wheel, what makes colors go well together, what makes them vibrate and kind of stick out. So we've got some articles for you to look at, some videos. And then I have a little video, video here on duplicating artboards because we're going to need to do that for your project extension that's due on Sunday. So then due on Sunday, you're going to refine your original fruit icons. So based on the feedback in the discussion board, my comments, think about these questions and refine your design. So you're going to open your original icon set, make a copy of your artboards, and make new artboards. So what I'm looking for, this is the most probably important sentence, a couple sentences here. You're going to have 15 artboards total. The first column of five are going to be the ones that you submitted on Wednesday. The second column of five are going to be you refining it. Do not focus on color, just moving your pen points, smoothing things out, maybe taking a closer look that you maybe didn't get to the first time around. Then the third column is going to be color. So you may want to add some more details when you're adding color. So you can do that in the third column as well. But it's a great way for me to see the progression, what you turned in Wednesday, how you were refining it, and then adding color. And this is due Sunday uh, by 11.59. Okay, and then it's the end. So if you have 
any questions whatsoever, don't hesitate to reach out and I look forward to seeing your fruit.